An underwater junkyard of sorts lies beneath the San Joaquin River in Stockton. Hello, I'm Devin Truby. Dozens of vehicles have been dumped or accidentally driven into the river, and the sheriff's office says they don't have the resources to get them out. Take a look. The San Joaquin River is one of the hardest working rivers in California. A 330-mile highway for endangered fish like trout and salmon that starts in the Sierra and ends in the San Francisco Bay. But in the middle of all its beauty, the river takes an unfortunate turn. We get probably like three to four cars in the water every month, but um, this year it's been significantly more. I would probably say about double. Just below the surface is an underwater junkyard. In Stockton, along Eight Mile Road sits dozens of abandoned cars cluttering the bottom of the San Joaquin River. Deputy John Canapa with the San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office Boating Unit recently took us out on the river. He's been patrolling the river for four years and showed us where they find the most cars. He says the cars that lay along the riverbed are likely stolen and dumped, or someone missed a turn and accidentally hit the water. There's no obstacles to have the cars come out, and it's also very dark out here at night. There's not much ambient light. We've had cars right here, but we've also had cars all along the rocks. They're just able to go off the levee. And he says some of the cars could even belong to missing persons. People like Jacob Van Zandt, who disappeared in February. This is the first thing you think about when you wake up. It's the last thing you think about before going to bed. When you're eating, you're doing anything, you, you just, you're wondering. The 24-year-old was last seen at a Lodi restaurant getting takeout. A ping from his phone led the family to believe he was somewhere near the river along Eight Mile Road. And after two months of searching, a volunteer dive team with Adventures with Purpose came in and found his remains in the river, inside his car, 15 feet below the surface. When the divers came in, and we were shocked to find out that there were 27 other vehicles down there. 27 cars just in that one section of the massive river. We've been lucky to get our answers because there's people out there who have no idea what happened to their loved ones, and I can't imagine having to live with that every day. Taking cars out is, is uh, important uh, for us here at the Sheriff's Office because it could be related to something important like a stolen vehicle or a missing person, and it'd be awesome to be able to bring closure to those families. But unfortunately, it is not that simple. They rely on Stanislaus County for the dive team and Sacramento County for their underwater camera you see here to check for remains. Yeah, that's been there a minute. There's also environmental concerns that car fluids are leaking into the river. Vehicles go off the Delta levees and side roads probably pretty regularly and they need to be responded to. Allen says it can destroy habitats and be a danger to people using the water for recreation. A UC Davis environmental toxologist agrees. They can cause serious consequences for fish and other critters. If the concentrations are high enough, they can actually then kill them as well. I would say uh, the short-term effects are probably more of an issue than the long-term effects as they move downstream and away and dilute. Now it's about waiting for the family of Jacob Van Zandt, waiting for more answers. Waiting, trying to figure out, you know, it's, it's pretty horrible. It's, I don't wish it on anybody. The San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office waits on other agencies and funding to tackle this giant issue. They'll continue to patrol the San Joaquin River, where the hard work is just beginning. One week after ABC 10 published the special investigation you just saw into an underwater junkyard in the San Joaquin River, more car removal operations began. We went back out to see those efforts firsthand. The Sacramento River off of Twin Cities and River Road steaming with law enforcement. The operation and technology from Sacramento Sheriff's Office. The San Joaquin Sheriff's Office Boat Patrol Unit assisting with water safety. Divers from the Sacramento Sheriff's Office at the ready, searching at the bottom of the river. The red floaters marking not one or two, but up to 12 cars in this underwater junkyard. The first car they pulled up, a white SUV that 
crashed into the river on July 13th at 5 a.m. A gentleman had called 911 and he had stated that he had driven off the roadway and went into the Sacramento River and swam out. A common issue, according to neighbors. There are no lights, just a small guardrail, and people take the 55 mile per hour speed limit as a starting point. He had just driven off. Um, he was not intoxicated or under the uh, impairment of drugs or alcohol. That was the first vehicle that the Sacramento County Sheriff's Department did locate and we pulled out. Vehicle number two was not so easy. Law enforcement says the longer the car sits in the water, the heavier it can get. The other issue, the longer it sits, the more damage the water does to the vehicle. Gas tanks crack or rupture under the pressure, leaking toxic chemicals into the river. It's concerning for a UC Davis toxicologist. They can cause serious consequences for fish and other critters. If the concentrations are high enough, they can actually then kill them as well. Making the argument it's best to pull the cars out sooner rather than later. After ABC 10's investigation, three months later, new technology arrived for the San Joaquin County Sheriff. In an exclusive demonstration on the water, we show you how they're keeping their promise to the community to solve crimes and bring closure to missing person cases. It's San Joaquin County Sheriff's Office's newest tool, an underwater robot. It's controlled by an Xbox controller, described as an underwater drone. They'll use it to search for people and vehicles under the surface of waterways like the Delta. First, they use sonar to find the car. As you can see, it's 40 feet away. Then a high definition camera yeah. showing these images. Oh yeah, it looks like it's upside down. It's even equipped with a claw to pull off license plates or grab a person and help guide them out of a sunken car. We are proactively going out and checking and searching for vehicles in the water, not just when people call or when there is an accident. San Joaquin County Sheriff Deputy John Canepa says the new robot allows them to respond faster to calls. Before, they would have to call for technology or a dive team from another sheriff's office. Now they can figure out if it's a car, if it's stolen or belongs to a missing person, and then ask for a dive team assistance. In the long run, saving time, money, and manpower with one goal in mind. To bring some closure to those people that have either lost someone or lost their car. In Lodi, five cars were found in this 20-yard stretch off Guard Road and White Slough. The environmental issue about these cars uh, leaking gasoline and, you know, uh, boats could possibly hit them at low tide. And hoping to solve the bigger issue of why so many cars are being dumped in the Delta in the first place. Once we start pulling more of these vehicles out, uh, hopefully we'll start to see a trend and hopefully eventually we'll have a better answer for you. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. If you want to watch more features just like this one, check out our ABC 10 Plus app. There you'll find the latest newscasts and headlines and stay up to date on the weather and see all our great work and stories we tell here on ABC 10. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time.